in this video lecture i will explain you complete idea about the detailing of the building and cost analysis of the building uh, by using manual method okay so the cost analysis of the building is very much important for the tendering purpose as well as the, to know the idea about the uh, complete construction cost okay so in this video i will explain you how to calculate the individual uh, cost for the respected construction of the building okay so for that i will show you the pdf i was uh, accumulated all the uh, concepts regarding this respected cost estimation of the building so now we can see this is the ground floor plan and which is consisting of the parking area and one single room okay this is the staircases and this is the drive and this is a lift provision and this is the remaining floor plans okay if you want to construct the g place one building structure you need to consider one uh, single floor here like this otherwise if you want to construct that respected g plus two building structure you need to multiply the whatever the cost that we are obtained for the first floor with the second one okay so this is the uh, typical floor plan for the structure okay so it will be consisting of approximately of 14 number of the columns and the length of the building will be approximately 71 feet and the width of the building is approximately equal to 30 feet 40 feet sorry okay in this video i will cover the concepts related to the cost estimation process by using long wall short wall method okay before going to construction of any kind of the structure whether it is low rise or medium rise or high rise building initially we need to do the excavation for the respected uh, project site okay so initially i will explain you the what is the cost that is required for the excavation process for this particular project okay so it will be consisting of approximately the columns are 40 numbers here okay so the length of the particular each column will be consisting of reinforcement pit which is of uh, related to the foundation is approximately 2.14 meter and width of this respected uh, for footing will be approximately 2.14 meter okay and the depth will be approximately 2.1 meter just i am assuming here approximately 8 to 9 feet okay so if you multiply this respected value of length breadth or uh, depth with the 14 number of the columns it will get the quantity approximately 134.64 meter cube okay so again in the long wall process in order to construct the uh, wall section or basement section initially we need to lay the concrete layer below the gravel filling okay so for that we need to count the number of the walls that is comes under the long wall method as well as the short wall process okay now we can see for this uh, section it will be consisting of approximately 1 2 three numbers for the long wall okay again it will be consisting of one two three four number in the short wall direction okay so it now we can see in the long wall section i was considered the three numbers and each section will be consisting of approximately 16.92 this 16.92 is nothing but your respected length of the structure from this column to from this column position okay so again it will be consisting of the breadth is same which is of 2.14 meter again depth is approximately equal to 0 0.83 okay so this is the process again in the same process short wall will be consisting of four numbers which is having 8.99 meter length and breadth is approximately 2.14 and depth is approximately equal to 0 0.83 okay the to total quantity required for this respected excavation is approximately the summation of the column excavation and long wall excavation for the respected uh, basement construction and rock filling again it will be consisting of the long wall okay again it will be consisting of the short wall the summation of this respected excavation is 288.671 cubic meter okay so this is the cubic meter value we need to consider for uh, excavation process for one single cubic meter it is required approximately 800 rupees if you multiply this respected 2000 uh, 288.671 so that it can get the cost is approximately 23093 rupees 0.68 approximately we can say it as 23100 rupees okay this is the process of excavation of the cost estimation again in the same process after excavation process is done we need to lay the pcc bed on that particular excavation site okay so the number of columns will be consisting of 40 numbers here the length of the column is 2 and width of the column is 2.14 and depth of the uh, pcc bed is approximately i'm assuming here as 0 0.22 so the quantity will be approximately 14.105 and in the long wall direction it will be consisting of three numbers 2.14 2.14 0 0.22 is the thickness of that pcc the total volume is this and short wall direction also it will be consisting of four numbers of the wall in the short wall direction length is 2.14 width is 2.14 and 0 0.22 is the depth of that particular short wall so that it can get the volume is 4.03 and again after the pcc bed we need to construct the basement 
okay which is consisting of the one direction okay one one section of the basement okay so the length of the building is approximately equal to 16.92 okay again in the same process 8.9 uh, 9 is the width of the building again multiply this respected process with 0.22 which is comes under 33.464 meter cube again in the same process gravel filling we need to fill after the construction of the basement so which is consisting of 16.92 length and 8.9 and width and we have to uh, fill the gravel up to 1.2 meter depth which is consisting of approximately 182.53 okay so the total volume that is required for this respected uh, foundation construction is approximately 33.464 so if you multiply this respected value with uh, this 1950 value okay for 1 meter cube if you want to construct the foundation it is required approximately 1900 to 2000 rupees okay so here i was considered 1950 rupees so if you construct that particular foundation it is required approximately 1 lakh 6510 approximately rupees okay so after that we have the gravel filling is there for the gravel filling it is required approximately 182.53 meter cube of the material so for 1 meter cube it is required 160 rupees only okay which is the total volume is uh, 29204.8 okay again after this we need to fill the rcc m30 grade concrete mix for the 14 columns plinth beams okay so for that firstly we had to uh, take the concrete again first uh, we need to construct the 14 number of the columns which is having 2.14 dimensions length and which is having 2.14 meter width again we have to construct this particular column uh, up to the uh, level of the ground which is having 0.6 meter remaining height the total volume is approximately 38.468 meter again after this we need to construct the column which is having 0.3 meter ka 0.6 meter dimensions here i was assumed that column will be consisting of 0.3 meter cross 0.6 meter 14 meter multiplied by 0.3 meter cross 0.6 meter multiplied by 3 why because we need to construct the column up to the uh, 10 feet height which is having approximately equal to 3 meter height okay so the volume will be of 7.56 the summation of this respected foundation as well as the column will be 46.028 meter cube okay so for the respected section it is required approximately 3500 for the cubic meter so if you multiply this respected value which is comes under uh, 161098 uh, rupees okay again in the same process for the long wall and short wall we need to fill the material with the help of the concrete material okay uh, above the uh, stone construction so which is consisting of three numbers of the long wall again it will be consisting of five numbers of the short wall so the length of this particular section will be 16 point uh 92 and width of this respected section is 0.22 and depth of this respected section is approximately 12 inches 0.3 meter the total volume will be of 3.35 and short wall direction it is consisting of five number each will be consisting of 8.99 so multiplied by 0.22 width of that particular uh pcc so we need to uh, rcc uh, and we need to multiply that respected value with 12 inches which is of 2.966 the total volume will be comes under 6. 316 for 1 cubic meter it is required for meter cube it is required approximately 3800 rupees okay so if you multiply this respected value then it will be get approximately 24000 rupees which is required for the construction of the rcc section below the walls okay so again it will be consisting of rope beams okay in the long wall direction it will be consisting of three number each will be consisting of the length of that particular section will be of 16.92 and width of the beam is 0.23 you can consider it as 9 inches and 12 inches beam so which is having the total volume is 3.35 in the short wall direction there are five walls or five beams are there okay which is having the length is 2 8.99 approximately 9 meter and 9 inches and 12 inches is the width of that particular beams total volume is this and the total summation of the long wall short wall is 6.316 so if you multiply that respected value with 4000 why because in the construction of the uh, rcc which is related to the beam sections uh, which is comes under long wall and short wall it is required approximately 4000 okay so which is consisting of approximately 25264 rupees approximately again after this we need to construct the roof slab okay roof slab is extended till the uh, balcony level okay so it is consisting of one number roof slab which is having the length is approximately 18 meter and width is approximately 9.5 meter the thickness of the slab is considered as 0.125 which 
which is comes under the approximately of 21.375 again it is required same cost which is uh, for the uh, roof beam section okay so which is required 4000 which is comes under 85500 rupees in the same process it will be consisting of the staircases so it will be consisting of 6 uh, 4.36 Uh, for the respective length direction uh, stair slab which is having a thickness is 0.15 and which is having the width is 3.47 which is comes under the volume is 13.616 meter so again for this respective section also it is required 4000 rupees for cubic meter which is of 54464 rupees required for the construction of the stair in the same process we need to calculate the steel okay so basically the steel will be important in the cost estimation process as per the long wall and short wall method or uh, center line method we need to consider the steel in kgs for the specified volume okay if you want to construct the uh, footing section we need to consider 100 kgs of the steel for 1 cubic meter concrete again in the same process we need to construct the columns 130 kgs again you need to consider the plinth beams this is 120 kgs and for the roof beams which is of 120 kgs roof slab 90 kg and stair slab is 120 kg so this respected value of the footing we are obtained from the above step which is calculation of the rcc section footing okay so which is of 38.468 this 38.468 value we need to multiply it with a uh, 1 cubic meter uh, steel which is of 100 kg so which is comes under the value is 3846.8 kg approximately required in the same process for the column in the same process for the plinth beam in the same process for the roof beam again in the same process for the staircases so it is required approximately 42 rupees for the kg of the steel nowadays so if you multiply the respected value with uh, this total uh, volume it is consisting of approximately 4 lakhs 4500 rupees approximately required for the steel section okay so again after this we need to calculate the estimation for the brick masonry including labor and transportation charges too okay for that we need to consider the long wall as well as the short wall direction walls but here in the ground floor plan it will be consisting of only one single room here which is having 10 feet cross 10 feet dimensions okay there is no long wall there is no short wall exist for this respected room okay so because of this we need to consider the another wall section for the ground floor okay so another wall will be consisting of 10 feet cross 10 feet which is of 3.38 cross 3.38 and height of that respected wall is 3 which is having approximately 34.273 cubic meter so for uh, calculating the number of the bricks or calculating the wall uh, quantity we need to deduct the doors and windows for the consideration so it will be consisting of one single door this is the width and this is the length and again this is the height of that particular door which is comes under 0.21 meter cube okay so if you deduct that respected value of 24.2732 this 0.21 it is comes under 34.062 uh, total volume okay so again if you multiply this respected value with 1900 then it will get the values approximately 64729.2 rupees required for the uh, brick wall construction again in the same process plastering okay so basically we have two numbers are there which is related to the walls which is having the length is approximately equal to 2.38 again it will be consisting of height of that respected section is 3 so if you calculate the volume then it will be 20.28 okay so if you deduct the doors then the volume will be comes under approximately 18.6369 uh, uh, okay so which is of uh, for 1 cubic meter it is required approximately 120 so which is consisting of approximately of a uh, 2204.28 uh, rupees required for the respected 18.369 meter square area now it is time to flooring so for the flooring purpose it is required approximately the length of the long wall as well as the short wall this is the length and this is the width this is the volume okay so for the flooring we need to deduct the columns columns will be 14 numbers 0.3 0.6 is the dimensions so if you deduct the column then it will be consisting of approximately 150 150 multiplied by this respected 800 which is comes under approximately of 11972 uh, rupees again in the same process color washing is there okay with two coats including the labor and transportation cost which is comes under 19.22 volume this respected total volume uh, for the respected volume of the walls so that it can get the rupees is approximately 70 rupees 
so it is required seven twenty four thousand seven one three rupees for the painting purpose. Okay, so this is the uh, cost estimation process for the ground floor. Again, in the same process, uh, we need to calculate the electricity charges also. That is only left here. So for the uh, total cost for the particular sections of the eight numbers, it is required eleven lakhs twenty four thousand nine thirty five rupees approximately. In addition to this, we need to consider the electrical charges, which is consisting of approximately seventy five per seven point five percentage of the total cost. Okay. So if you consider the seven point five percentage of the total cost, then it will be get approximately eight four three seventy point one seven five rupees here. Okay. The final cost required for the ground floor construction is. The summation of this electrical charge and as well as the total project cost. Okay, this is the complete calculation part for the ground floor section. Now I will explain you for the uh, first floor section. This is the first floor section. Again, it will be consisting of RCC mixed design. Again, it will be consisting of roof slab and long uh, same calculation which is uh, considered from that respected ground floor section. And the volume is same and rupees is same. And the uh, steel required for the columns, roof beams, and roof slab is same. Okay. But we are not able to adding that uh, gravel work or else we are not able to adding that foundation work in this particular first floor. Okay, why? Because they are not exist in the first floor. Okay, brick masonry. We need to deduct the doors which is there for the respective section. Here in the first floor section, we are considering the long walls as well as the short walls. Why? Because it will be consisting of external walls, internal walls, and other walls also. Okay, we are considering this. This is the calculation part for the first floor. So for the first floor, it is comes under approximately of. Uh, approximately of the total cost required is nine lakhs thirty one thousand seven sixty one rupees. Okay, the calculation part is same and everything is same. Okay, but only the deduction values will be deducted for the respected foundation construction. Okay, so the summation of this respected section, which is of ground floor as well as the first floor, will be total cost required for the project. Okay, so here in this case, in the plan, it will be consisting of the lift provision. Okay, this is the lift provision. For the lift provision, basically it is required nowadays approximately of the cost is seven uh, lakhs rupees, which is having the ten percent capacity. Okay, so here the uh, sanitary cost estimation was only the last thing we need to calculate. So sanitary work is cost is approximately required three lakh sixty thousand rupees, and septic tank and approximately cost is required sixty thousand rupees. The total abstract of the estimate, which is comes under the example of G plus five building for the same plan, is. Uh, serial number ground floor twelve lakhs approximately. First floor nine lakhs thirty thousand thirty one thousand. Second floor is nine lakhs thirty one thousand. Third floor is nine lakh thirty one thousand. And fourth floor is nine lakh thirty one thousand. And fifth floor is sixteen uh, lakhs ninety one thousand rupees. This respected cost includes the lift provision as well as the uh, sanitary and septic tank. Okay, that's why it is getting sixteen lakhs approximately seventeen lakhs here. The final cost, which is required for the G plus five building, according to the estimation, is fifty eight lakhs sixty eight thousand three point one rupees approximately. Okay, this is the ideal estimate for the respected building process. Okay, this is the complete process of cost estimation of G plus five building by using manual method. Simple concepts. Just we need to deduct the values and just we need to add the values. Just we need to multiply the quantities with the help of the Rates. Okay, so the same concepts were uploaded in my website civilbasics123.com. For more information, you can watch the detailed concepts in my website. So, if you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for the respected questions. Thank you.